All right, we've got the 2011 Heartland North Trail right here, 21 FBS. I guess I'll do a quick walk around here and kind of show you the overall condition. I know you don't live so very close. Power stabilizers right down here. That's where you essentially uh, move them up or down. Spare tire lane in here, fully finished. Underside, you're not gonna get cold on those cold early mornings with the air coming in. This is actually insulated as well. Swing you around here. Obviously your propane batteries up front. You got your big North Trail front facer here. Diamond plate in front. Someone added a true level right here essentially for leveling it so you know kind of where you're setting. Obviously the other side of the pass through. Lights on both sides. This does have the fully enclosed underbelly. So it is heated. Extend your camping season a little bit longer. Obviously, um, the longer you guys can stay out camping, see the fall colors, the better. Nice little slide out here. Obviously, it's on the cable system. You do get an outside shower. City water connection, cable port, water heater is on the back side of the camper, so that way it's not blowing hot air on you. This unit does have a pull-out bumper back here. So this will pop up and make into a bike rack essentially. There'll be a little plastic tray that'll come out a little ways and you'll, you can put up to 200 pounds on it, so. It's the rear of the camper. Here's the side. I'm not seeing any problems with any decals or whatnot. It's got a rail on the outside here if you wanted to attach a camp stove. It does have the wide track axles, so these are physically separated um, for a more wider stance it's obviously not going to have one pinpoint and it's not going to do the teeter-totter thing so that is better for traveling and trailering big grab handle i guess we'll walk right on in bed up front obviously you've got power on both sides of the bed for you know his and her cell phones sleep pack machines whatever it is that you got going for you obviously big storage up top storage as well and then obviously you're gonna have under bed storage here looks like someone might have put a longer mattress in Ooh, they're fighting with it so storage here and then you've got pull out drawers here on the bottom so that's actually kind of nice All right, moving on from there um, you do get a curtain rail in here. There is um, a roof vent more or less above the bed. Um, the slide out on this one has a lot of fancy decorations on it. It looks kind of nice. It's a lot better than just the plasticky look that some of them are going to have. It does have a big U-shaped dinette. You can get all your friends over, play games, board games, what have you. You're going to get the solid surface countertops solid surface sink separators, stainless steel sink. You got your stove, your oven, microwaves up top. Some storage here down below. Obviously pull drawers. Fridge and freezer, everyone always wants to see these. And I was actually surprised when I opened these, they're not, you know, all musty, moldy, and kind of how campers kind of tend to get when we come unused. So that's excellent. Place for your TV over here. You can obviously back it. Looks like someone might have had a TV here at one time. Um, big stereo, obviously DVD player. You're going to have um, headphone jacks, line in, USB, you know, all the gizmos everyone wants. But then on to the restroom area. And this is kind of where this unit shines. It's one of the high points, I think. Lots of storage. You take the shelves out for hanging. Drawers underneath it. Toilet paper roll holder in there. You can kind of fit it wherever you want. A little storage down there. More storage in here, obviously hanging if you so choose. There is a um, power fan with your vent cover in here. Large, large shower. It does have a little dome on the top there too. And then obviously a little bit more storage over here for towels or what have you. This I kind of like. You don't often see a window in the bathroom. It does obviously have a pull down shade so you can keep prying eyes out if you so choose. But other than that, just 
So looking at the camper, overall condition, I know you're coming from a distance, so I'm trying to kind of give you a good overall of it, but I'm not seeing anything that would um, really deter me from it at this point. Um, just in case I missed it, because I think I did, the AC unit on here is uh, fully ducted, so you still get a short unit, but still ducted AC as well. And I guess I would like to show you the monitor panel here, because the awning, it is power as well. That's all I got for you. Let me know.